Good afternoon, you guys. It's your boy E back at it again with another video. Today, we are currently inside of a 2020 Chevy Impala Premier. Man, this car is so amazing. So if you like to know more about this vehicle, because we're about to cover the sound system, we're about to cover the vehicle bio, we're about to cover the engine type. If it's the things that you are into or interested in, please stay in this video. So you're about to see with me the features that this car comes with. So if you like what we're doing in this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video, leave your comment, and please leave your notification bell on so you'll be the first one to know next time we post another video. So with that being said, you guys, let's get into this video. You guys can see we are approaching the engine. This is a V6 engine with a 3.5 liter engine with the VVT transmission and also this car is a six speed automatic transmission that can provide you 305 horsepower with 264 pound feet of twerk. I think you guys, this is a pretty big engine and the performance of the car, of this car, um, um, this car can go from zero to 60 second, to 60 within 6.2 second. Four car that's not a muscle car, you guys. I believe this is a pretty um, quick pickup. So if you guys are looking for a car that's a little faster, you already know where to look at, but this car can only provide you zero to 60 seconds within 3.2 seconds. So with that being said, you guys, let's get into this car so we can see a few features available and, um, and also we're about to cover the warranty. Um, so let's stick in this video a little longer so we can learn a little bit, little bit more about this Chevy Impala. As we are making our way inside of uh, the Impala so I just want to show you a few things you guys you know I'm always cover the key options that you have available in this um in whatever card that I'm covering as you guys can see this is the key for the Impala so this is to open the door to um, lock the doors this is to pop the trunk and this little circle here you guys that's for you to remotely start the car so if you stay a little longer in this video, I'm, I will show you exactly how to get it done. Or if you are not new to this channel, you know exactly, you know, I always cover how can you start your car with the key. And also you have the keyless entry. So as you're going inside your car, if you were outside, you only press this button once and you're gonna see this little lock pop up to show you that, um, that the door is open and you can open your door. And also, you know, mostly all the Chevys come with the Wi-Fi option. So if you are a great fan of the Wi-Fi, you have that in your car, so you can actually um, call to have that activated. So this is how you um, go in, you lock the doors, or you unlock it by pressing this button. So um, let's open the door and see exactly a few things. So as we can see, we have the um, the lock button, which is um, all automatic. So we have the power windows, all automatic. So we can put the windows down with this button here. And this is the mirror rotation for the Savio mirrors. So if you want to rotate it, have a way you will feel comfortable. So you are welcome to do so. And we have the seat adjuster. So if you want to adjust the seat, these are the buttons that you use to push it forward, to push it backwards, to actually lean the back of the seat forward or backwards. However way you feel comfortable, you are more than welcome to. And um, I think this is a pretty great option to have. And um, we also have the parking assistant. So once you have this light on, that means the parking assistant is activated. So, um, and this is the button where you can actually pop the trunk or you can use the key as I showed you guys earlier. So by you pressing the key, the trunk will pop or if you are inside the car already, so you could just press this button and you are more than welcome to um, um, pop the trunk. And also this is the emergency brake. So we don't have the emergency brake um, under our feet where you usually be. So now they actually do it a little bit better or more simple or more cleaner, I would say. So where, where you push this and you actually put your uh, emergency brake on or when you push this in, and that means the, uh, the emergency brake is on. But to, to, to show you guys, when you put it on and when you're gonna take it off, your feet has to be on the brake in order for you to, to, to disengage the emergency brake. So let's see if I wanna just deactivate it and I press this button without my feet being on the brake. So it would actually tell me that step on the brake to release park brake. 
So what I have to do is I have to step on the brake and push this button in. So I will deactivate the um, the, 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 the park brake. All right. So this is a pretty you know, cool feature to have you guys. Um, as you guys can see, I really like the design, the stitches, um, the brown color with the leather, with the soft leather side where I can rest my hand um softly you guys i think chevy did a great job um as you can see all around the stitches is well neat you know um i think chevy did an amazing job to me i really care about how the inside of the car look because 99 percent of the time you're going to be inside your vehicle not outside so you want to be very comfortable with the options that's available inside of your vehicle all right so if we want to look at a few more options the one thing that I really admire is the wireless charge that the uh, Impala come with. So if you want to charge your phone and your phone is capable of charge or charging wireless. So what you have to do is to uh, place your phone on gently, you know, um, uh, right here and you put your phone and you will see your phone start charging. So you do not need your cable or anything to charge your phone. Just place the phone here and the phone will charge itself and you can cover it and your phone is charging don't forget that the phone was there if you cover this all right so and also uh we have the heated seats so not only we have the front heated seat but we also have for the back seats so if you want your back seat to be warm you can ask the driver or the passenger in the front to help you with your seats in the back and you can warm up your seat in the back this is for the passenger or for the front uh, for the for the front um uh roll so the driver's side the passenger side and the two passengers in the back um and a few other options so as you guys can see we have the audio the phone the protection navigation the setting the weather text and the um on start let's see what other option they have the traffic um let's see so we have the cruise button so all this setup here is for your um cruise however way you want to set it up and we have this button where we can actually browse around the um the dashboard so um so wherever you want to you want to browse around or whatever you want to do these are the buttons that you use um this is the the gas gauge this is the temperature of your um engine so um so this car is is, is, is well designed i think this is uh, i don't know you guys will let me know if you're really worth the 36 to 30 um seven thousand dollars and um for those of you who actually use with Chevy, you know, we have this button in the back so where you can actually control the volume and on the other side You can actually change the radio station um, By using uh, These button in the back. Okay So uh, So let's let's get in the back seat you guys so we can see uh, What else do they have but before we do so let's look underneath um, The handrest and see exactly what we have and how much storage do we have underneath? All right so what do we have in there so let's open this this is a pretty decent um uh room to store your stuff i don't think you're really going to turn this into a closet if you want to put your phone your purse whatever you want to put in there your pen um i think this is a pretty decent space to put that if you do not have a phone that charge wireless so you are welcome to use your cable your charger by using one of these port right here which is the um sorry you guys the usb uh port and the aux cable but don't worry about the aux cable because this card comes with bluetooth where you can connect your phone and play any music you would like so this is amazing all right so i just very like the the color the little stripe they put on the seats what do you guys think so does it mean that's exaggerating or chevy did an amazing job with the seat design with the leather with the little stitches the little brown color i think she did a great job you guys let's jump in the back seats so we can see how comfortable how much legs room do we have or what are the options you have available while you're sitting in the back seat as we are getting the back seats so as you can see we have the window um button here where you can put the window down yourself and i kind of like this little design here you guys with the chrome door handle so where you can open the door um let's close it mm. all right so i think we have a pretty decent space in the back this is where you can store your period belongings and one of the things that i really admire is if you are sitting in the back and you do not have 
um, um, charge on any or one of the of your device that you have you are welcome to use that uh, the charger port where it's not a um, USB but you can actually plug any device that you have uh, let's say your computer or or anything that you have you want to charge you can plug it here which is way better than a USB port or more convenient if you do not have your USB port with you or um, let's say a laptop that doesn't use a USB port that you would actually have to use your actual charger so you, you are you are so lucky for Chevy make it more convenient for you to be able to charge your computer or any device that you have um, that you can plug here and also you have the vents which is pretty cool and um, you guys this is this is amazing the black interior with the brown or the the cream or the caramel of stitches I think you guys Chevy just killed the inside let's look at the front um, from the back you guys I don't know but leave a comment below tell me if you think that this car worth the 36 to 37 thousand dollars so um, this car is pretty much brand new it only has um, about um, 900 miles in there not even a thousand yet you guys this car is brand new brand new brand new so if you think that Chevy or the Chevy Impala Premier uh, worth uh, the $36,000. Leave your comment below. Tell me, talk to me, you guys. And uh, we're about to take this boy on a test drive. And also, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, uh, 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 to like, leave your comment below. So before we even go on a test drive, let's look at how much trunk space do we have because we do not want to miss it. So let's get out the car so we can see how much of a trunk space do we have. Now we get in the back. So if you do not press the button like we show you inside to open the truck, you can use your key. As you know, the car is a push start. Uh, you do not have to have the key inside the car for the car to be running. So uh, you just pop the trunk with the key, okay? And the trunk open. And you guys, we have a humongous space to storage our belongings. Um, your luggage, whatever it is, you guys, you have more than enough space to store your stuff um i think you guys chevy did a great job huh all around this car you guys i don't know like i said again leave your comment tell me what you think you don't like tell me what you think you like about this car so that way i know better what to cover next time for you guys so um so we actually a family we have to talk to each other you know so um i don't believe that i had cover the push start button so let's get back inside. Um, you guys, it's a push start. So even though you have the key option, but you do not use the key to actually start your car. The way you start the car is once you get in, as the car turned off. So what you need to do is you need to um, step on the brake, okay? As I step on the brake and I push this button and the car will start, okay, you guys? So this is how you start the Chevy Impala and um, so what I really want to do, you guys, let's cover, let's talk a little bit about the warranty options. All right, you guys, let's talk a little bit about the warranty for the 2020 Chevy Impala Premier. So for the basic warranty, it's pretty much a three-year warranty or 36,000 miles, whichever one comes first. So, um, and for the uh, for the drive strand warranty, it's a five years warranty with, uh, or six uh, 60,000 miles. And for the powertrain warranty, it's a five years and 60,000 miles. And for the corrosion warranty, which is a six years or 100,000 miles. So I think when you're buying a brand new car or you're financing a car, you always want to look uh, towards the warranty um, um, options available. So keep your options um, open. So um, so if you think that's a, a pretty uh, good option that Chevy provided for you, and you can go ahead and do your best and get your Chevy. And um, I don't think that's too bad, you guys. But <clears throat> everybody has, um, you know, have their own preference. So um, I cannot impose my preference. So let's look at the uh, back of camera and see exactly what Chevy did that was new or that's new to the 2020. So let's back up. Um, let me show you guys. So we're backing up. Uh, let's see exactly how the sensors function. Uh, okay, it did 
pretty great job. So that's good, you guys. If that is an option that you actually like, you know exactly what to do, all right? All right, to cover the sound system, you guys, the Chevy Impala comes with the Bose speakers. So I believe the Nissan are well known to have the Bose speakers, but I've always believed that the Nissan have better sound system than the Chevys, but this Premier come with the Bose uh, um, speakers and they're all over. So just so we can test it out and see how much bass and how the speaker sounds like. Oh guys, I apologize for too loud, but exactly I just want to test the sound to see how loud this car can get. As you guys can see, it was pretty loud. So if you are a great fan of music, you don't not you do not have to buy an amp or extra speakers because I think this car gives you the sound that you need. But if you want to go crazy, 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 I think you should buy yourself an amp and another speaker in the back. But for the sound itself, I do not think you guys need any speakers or any extra amp to help you have that sound. Let's check this one more time and see how. You guys, this was loud. Okay, so let's go take this ball on a test drive, man. It's exactly how much power this ball can pull. Amazing. Bro. 